Hi, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're not new, um, my sister is on an insulin pump, and this is one her an armband that she orders off of Etsy, and this is the measurements that she sent me. That's what I had to go on, and so I'm going to show you. Sorry, it's blurry. Um, so I had to do a little bit of math. This is uh, equates to an adult size large, according to the one you just saw. Um, but I'm going to build it a different way off of just kind of her arm measurements. Now you'll have to do this on your own. This is the hard part of sewing. That sucks. Nobody likes this part. But you're going to wind up with in the background there is a rectangle and a square. And here's how I came to that conclusion. Um, she sent me that picture. It was six by something. And we wanted to make it a little bit longer actually. So my measurements, and these might not work for you, are 12 and a half by 11 on your rectangle. And then your square is a little bit more complicated. We're going to do a pocket, but since I used my serger to do hems, uh, I actually had to take a five by three pocket is what we want to wind up with. But I'm adding two inches to each side, actually to three sides, which is how that three became a seven because the top of uh, five feet or five inches, goodness, uh, plus two inches for the extra hem fabric for the way I'm going to hem it, plus the three inches on each side. So we're doing three sides, which is how we got that three. Uh, you add two inches this side, two inches that side, two inches this side. I hope that makes sense. It probably doesn't. This is pretty much what we're going to wind up with, only prettier than these seams. This is a picture on my phone. That's what all these little dots are about. But we're trying to do an armband to hold an insulin pump is the whole idea. This is the one I did for my sister. I didn't really know measurements. Uh, the one on in this picture, I just took and I was like, make sure it fits and then I'll do you a nice one. So um, watch on if you want to see how to do something like this. Okay, as I said before, you're going to wind up with a rectangle. Um, we're not going to use that yet. Right now we're going to focus on the pocket. And I avoid my surgery or my sewing machine at all costs. That's why I did such a big measurement for the pocket because I'm going to take a lot of this away when I fold it over and surgery it. So um, you want to take the nice right side, which I believe I've got it. Let me make sure. Oh nope. Okay. So right side up on your square. If you're doing it like me, or you can sew like this too. Um, just how to make a really nice edge. You're going to take this, and that's why I added the two inches. So we're going to take two inches here, fold it back two whole inches, like so. And spandex is unruly, it's really hard to work with. I rarely mess with this stuff, because I'm kind of beginner level sewer. That's why I prefer my serger. Oh, my hemlines never look very good on my sewing machine. So you're going to go like that, and then pin it. And you're just going to um, go ahead and serge or sew along that line. But the serger cuts off the extra fabric. That's why if you're using a sewing machine, you may not want to do it this way. Uh, the, the serger is going to chop off, what, a half inch or so. And then we're going to wind up with it like that in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right okay, here we are back. It's a nice sergered edge. And flip it right sides back to the pretty side. And when you fold out, it leaves this nice, beautiful, uh, really well, that's not coming apart anytime soon kind of thing. Uh, now, it's for kind of tricky part here, you're going to do the same thing on both sides. We're going to fold in two inches and then back once on top of that. You're going to pin and then sew along the side. You're also going to do the same thing on the next one. You want to line these up because it gets kind of wily on the serger and just to make it look pretty it's kind of hard to keep these edges. Spandex is so hard. Uh, keeps trying to unravel and go weird on me. But we're gonna do our best and hopefully in the end it all lines up decent enough. Okay same thing two inches in on this side and over and then back in half on itself like that and this is all right sides together so you want to try to line up these as best you can so these edges come out pretty and somewhat matched up lined up and, but 
if you sew your pockets differently, if you're a sewer, like an avid sewer, probably knows how to do a pocket. Very smart. All you need to do right now, is we're just trying to make the pocket to hold the pump. So you sew this part however you want. You can skip ahead if you want to do your pocket how you like. Just make sure that when this is uh, folded in half, it's going to fit like so. So however you need to figure those measurements, good luck. <laughs> I'm going to serger up this side and this side and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That has been sergered on both sides, which leaves it looking like a somewhat professional nice seam there, except for I didn't line the top up the best, but you need to go slow enough, take your time if you want to make it extra pretty. And with your rectangle, you're going to find right sides together. Uh, Yes, the idea, uh, now this is going to be the front because this is the right side together is what's facing up, the right side is up. Uh, you can place this anywhere you like, I'm going to center it just because, which really doesn't matter because we're going to fold this in half and flip everything inside out and it doesn't exactly matter where things wind up as far as that, oh, sorry, okay, you're going to want this, you are going to want your pocket, the hems, the back side, against the nice side here. So you want to line this up, make sure, um, like sometimes I measure off, so you might have to overhang a little bit, but the idea is we're going to fold this on top of itself. So we need to find the middle to put this, uh, to place this, you can map it out and then make sure that you've got enough room halfway when it comes back. That's about perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and line it against the bottom here. I did good for once. Usually I'm far off. But what we're going to do now is you're going to pin and then you're just going to sew up here, here, leaving this as your opening for your pocket out the top. So um, you can make sure that the, the however you want to lay that flat, now is how you go ahead and place it wherever you'd like, however you'd like. Um, I'm going to keep mine taut a little bit. I'm going to try to keep that seam to the outsides. That's what I'm going to aim for. <laughs> we'll see how well everything turns out. Again, I am like beginner level sewer. Um, the hard thing with sewing is it's just, it's like trying to pat your head and rub your tummy. Everything's inside out and backwards and that's where things get super confusing. If you've made an infinity scarf before this way, you shouldn't have much problem. Um, Really, like skill level wise, this doesn't take a lot. It just takes a little bit of measuring and figuring up, getting things right, custom fit perfect for the person you're making it for. Because not everybody's alike in spandex stretches. So you have a little leeway, but it's, it just comes down to what feels good and how it lines out. But uh, so much cheaper than, I can't believe she was paying $30 a piece for these things. Um, I bought this off of Remnants. Wound up costing. I have enough to make five or six of these, and my cost was two thirty-eight by the time. Because Remnants are always fifty to seventy-five percent off. I left out. Mine were seventy-five percent off that day. So wow, crazy, crazy charge. But now go ahead and sew this uh, on here. You're gonna have to sew it, not search for it, <laughs> unless you know a cool way to do that. But you sew this line. And so this line, we're just getting our pocket on there. And then after that, we are going to sandwich it. So you want this left open because this is getting sewn together. Make sure the top of your pocket is going to be like that. So, so I'll be right back. Okay, so same thing. I just had added these two little seams here. And <laughs> I'm not a great sewer. I don't work with spandex very much. But as you can see, your pocket is open. Uh, we've got these laid out flat as you can. Spandex keeps rolling up on me. But I don't like to mess with it, it's hard. <laughs> uh, I have enough time with like easy flat cotton. Okay, so the idea now is just from here on out, it's like making an infinity scarf. Now, I first learned how to do that from her name now is Hey KL, but it used to be Secret Life of a Bio Nerd, and she has some of the coolest, funnest, weirdest hacks for sewing I've seen. And she's super cute and explains it a lot better. She's got a video, I think it's called um, Quick DIY, DIY Infinity Scarf or something close to that. Anywho, um, she explains this. Oh, there's my Etsy. <laughs> Whoa! 
Uh, she explains this so much better, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it the best I can today uh, because ours has a pocket. Is paying $30 for an armband when you're diabetic blows. <laughs> so if you have a grandma or anyone that sews or you can sew, I hope this saves you loads of money. Um, you're going to have to just do some thinking as far as math goes, but I'm going to map it out for you how to do it inside out and backwards, that part of it, and I wish you the best. Okay, so now I'm going to serger up this line right here, and I'll be right Okie dokie, um, surgered up here. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, actually. Okay, my lighting is terrible, so I'm trying to go in a little bit closer for you guys. Um, okay, now we are going to take this tube, we are going to fold it right side out. And this is gonna be so cool because we're halfway there. See, so we've got our little band with our little bucket out the top. So now, uh, and there's just the one, it's a tube all the way around, there's only one seam so far, other than our pocket. Okay, now it gets a little bit hard. This is the part that I would always forget and have to rewatch videos a million times. It's like, okay, what did we do next? So right here is the complicated part of it all. You're going to fold this inside out, but only halfway. Um, we're going to fold it back on itself, and it helps to follow this seam, seam against seam. There's only the one. And we're going for kind of inside out here. Now you want to have it match, line it up, and then stop. You want to line up all the way around so it makes kind of a sleeve tube again. Um, and if these are lined up, then you should be good to go. What we're going to do next is we're going to sew not completely around. I'm going to show you on my serger how we take a piece out and go around, but leave about an inch opening. And we're going to pull it all back through and it's going to be really confusing, but really cool. So one second, I'm going to set you up on my serger so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. So now we've got this piece. I hope it all stayed together. Every serger and sewing machine has this option. You're going to want to do that. <laughs> now taking you want to open up how we have it folded on itself. I can stick my hand through like this. We basically just folded it in half and lined up that seam, the one seam, all the way back around. And I hope that makes sense. Now you can go around up here. And it doesn't matter where you want to start or stop, but you're going to wind up with a one inch little hole that you uh, later on are going to have to hand sew shut. So it doesn't matter where you hop in or out of on here. I'm going to just kind of start right here and just jump in and go around make sure this kind of is lined up. Okay, now you can see I'm coming back to my start here. Um, so I'm going to leave about an inch and you're going to see me kind of veer off. So we didn't sew it completely shut all the way around. Um, Alright, so now it's kind of cool. You're going to be like, wow, that's magic. This part I love. Okay, so this tiny little hole, we did all that weird folding. You're going to pull all this fabric back through it. And I surged it so I'm being kind of rough, but if you sewed it, you might not want to pull so hard, but I'm just trying to hurry for the sake of battery and your time. <laughs> my time as well. So now, um, as you can see, it's going to wind up being an arm. There's our pouch for uh, for the insulin pump. Uh, it's going to go somewhat like that, but we're not quite done because that little hole, that little one inch hole is, where did that wind up? <laughs> oh, it wound up on the inside actually. Look how cool I did that. That was an accident. but. So you won't even see this. What you can do is do a hand, you can hand stitch it with a blind stitch where you take a needle and thread and you kind of, um, you kind of grab the lip from within on this and hook it. And then in the end, you can't see, I don't just look up blind stitch. I'm not good at them myself, but it's, uh, but that's kind of the idea is where in the end you'll start here, you'll tie off this. So you, you won't even know that there's a, an inch in there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat this happened to be on the inside of the armband 
and she really doesn't care for aesthetics, and neither do I. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on my sewing machine, sew from here to here on the outside, and then I'll be done. So I'm going to do that, I'll show you, and just try to line that up there, hold that together. Just doing that one inch little section here, just to keep it together. It's surgered, it's spandex, it's not going to fray, but we're doing this anyways. <laughs> Seriously, she won't know because she doesn't care. <laughs> She's not a sewer. It's for functional reasons only. She doesn't wear the armband out in public. This is just when she's kicking around at the house. Uh, so, but I bought a remnant for two thirty-eight, dollars and well, it was $10 and then it was marked down to seven something. And by the time I got to the counter, it happened to be on sale for, uh, 75% off, so my total checkout was $2.38, and I can make five or six of these bluggers. Uh, so she's gonna have lots of backups. They're not the prettiest thing ever, but if you're a good sewer, you'll know what to do. We've got a little pocket in here, holds the pump, goes in there, and you're just gonna have to measure. I'm sorry, I don't know. All pumps are different, all arms are different. I wish I could give you set measurements of everything, but know that. Even if you go in the store, you are allowed to buy, my phone's blowing up, you are allowed to buy fabric if you don't know this, um, and I think a lot of people don't understand that. You can buy uh, fabric at a quarter yard or a half yard. Uh, that's really about all you're going to need. Uh, in the beginning, as you saw, I started out with 7x7 seven seven, uh, square and a 12x11 rectangle. So, I mean quarter of a yard, half a yard, and you can have quite a few of these, however much you can cut out of your piece. So I hope this helps someone out there. Um, please don't go and pay $30 if you have a friend that sews. Um, they can figure it out. Being diabetic sucks enough. So best of luck. Uh, hope this was helpful. If any questions, I'll try to help you and answer them. But I am really not that great myself. Uh, so yes, thank you for watching. See you all later.